Hello, everybody. I, I just had to make a video about this. As you all know, some stupid fuckhead went into a school and started at and just open fired open uh, open fire on a bunch of teachers and kids. Killed twenty kids. Uh, I think seven adults, four adults. I'm not entirely sure. No, it was twenty kids. And then blew his own brains out. It is tragic. It's completely sick. And it pisses me off to no end that someone do these do this to kids. But but where is the weeping over the thousands or more of kids that are killed when our bombs drop in Iraq? Where's the weeping over the kids we killed when we dropped that bomb in Hiro in Hiroshima? Or the children who were mutated because of Agent Orange? Where's the outrage over that? Where's the outrage of the blood that is on our hands? And Obama wiping a tear from his face? You hypocrite! You, you order all these drone strikes, which have cost children their lives, but now you're crying over 20 kids that were killed? Oh, but it's okay, because it's in the name of the greater good, right? The greater good! Because <laughs> they're not American. Who cares about them? Only 20 American kids. And I know, that's really tragic. And my thoughts go out to the people of the parents of these kids, but seriously. It's like we only focus on what happens here, and we don't even care what happens around the world. Only in our little bubble, our little corner of the earth, do we seem to even give a shit. And that really pisses me off. And another thing, I keep seeing these little prayer chains going around. Pray for the children. Pray? Okay. While you're at it, why don't you ask God where he was when those kids were getting killed? Huh? What good is your prayers going to do? Nothing. And it's the same with me saying my thoughts go out. I, I, I know that really doesn't do anything either. Thoughts and prayers do nothing. Alright? It ain't going to bring them back to life. It's a, it's a, all it is is a way to polish your little good guy badge and make you feel like you've done something when you've actually done nothing at all. And yes, it's very hard to accept that you can do absolutely nothing about this, but it's the cold hard truth. Now let's talk for a second about the killer. They keep say they keep emphasizing the fact that he was autistic. That he had Asperger syndrome. As if that somehow contributed to it. You know, I have Asperger syndrome. Yet I'm able to make moral choices. I'm able to decide what is right and wrong for myself without any outside influence. I know not to go into a building and kill a bunch of people. That does not absolve him of any of the responsibility just because he has Asperger syndrome. That is bullcrap! They, they always try to find every little thing about that killer they can to point fingers at. He was just a demented asshole. He was a sick, twisted monster. There's no excuse for it. He was a scumbag. Now, um, what else? All right. One other issue: gun control. I, s you know, the little signs they post outside schools saying "no guns allowed." 
Sure, that really stopped that killer from walking in there and shooting people by just prohibiting guns. Now imagine this. A guy walks into a building and unbeknownst to him, or in fact rather known to him, all the faculty and staff in that building, or at least most of them, are armed. They have a pistol or something. Imagine how that would have went down. Had, had the faculty been armed, they would have shot him in his stupid head before he could kill any of the children. Or at least the death toll would be a lot lower. I, I don't understand the thinking that, okay, let's just outlaw guns altogether. No, no guns for anybody. It's not the guns that are killing people. I'll give you an example. In China, where guns are pretty much impossible to attain, obtain, sorry, a dude walked into a school and knifed a bunch of kids to death. It doesn't matter if you ban guns. It's not going to solve the problem. This just pisses me off on so many levels. Again, it is a terrible tragedy, but the reaction to it is just just ridiculous. It's, it's the same reaction we always get. They always try to find something to point fingers at instead of looking at the killer himself. The only person you should be blame person or thing you should be blaming is the killer. That's all I gotta say.